YouTube, what is shaking, homies? Today we are taking a look at the JG Maker Artist 3D Printer. This is my new favorite 3D printer. It is absolutely incredible. It has all the bells and whistles, but it is an IDEX printer. So it's got two independent dual extruders that we can print two objects at the same time, or we can do really, really efficient traditional dual extrusion prints like this Panda here. So come on here, let me show you a closer look of all my favorite features about this printer, things that make it unique, and then we will show you some test prints, uh, time-lapsed, and uh, all that good stuff. So, let's have some fun. All right, let's start at the top of the printer and work our way down. So first off, we got the filament runout sensors, which are very nice. We got this really nice belt tensioner because it is dual Z-axis, and this helps keep them aligned, and uh, it works absolutely great. Uh, everything really like about that, it's all solid metal construction. Also, too, these ribbon cables, they look cool, and also, too, I, so I like that. Uh, I like the way it manages all the wires, but also, too, these ones have these nice reinforced clips, so I don't see them wiggling out or anything so far. They've been pretty darn good. We are going to just go down a little bit, and let me show you what I really like about the extruders. So, first off, they are direct drive extruders, so if you want to do your flexibles and stuff like that, you can. I'm not really into that stuff, but... Because it's direct drive, you can do PETG, TPU, and very, very cool. There's no button or anything you press to uh, install the filament. You just shove it in there, and you'll feel it start to, like, get, you know, kind of, like, get grabbed by the gears. And then it'll be a little harder to push in, and then bada-bing, bada-boom. So that is really, really nice. Also, too, there's silicone covers over the nozzle and hot end. So if you are getting this for a child, this is the only thing on 3D printers really, you always have to worry about like, if they touch it, they're gonna get burnt. Um, that's, but this, you know, with the silicone cover, uh, you'll feel that it's hot, but it won't burn you. Really, really nice. Uh, this printer also uses proprietary nozzles, which normally I would say that sucks, but along with this, you get six spare nozzles. So they give you plenty. And then uh, if, if for any reason you need more, uh, I guarantee you can get them from JG Maker's uh, Amazon page or their website, but you should have more than enough to last you for at least a while. It's really cool. All you do is you take this silicone cover off, and then when there's no filament in it, you just push this button, and you just pull it out, and the whole assembly just pops out. And then it just kind of like locks right in there. Pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, so the extruders, the whole hot end assembly is really, really nice. Then you'll notice on both sides, we got these little purge buckets. And on these purge buckets, um, there is actually wire brush. So as it rubs against there, uh, it knocks the filament off. This one I loosened off uh, already because I wanted to be able to show you that it's just got these little thumb screws. So when you need to dump it, you can just quickly take it off. Because these do get filled up, especially if you're doing large prints that are dual, you know, obviously dual extruder. Um, and then you just dump that, and then you can just, you know, you just throw it back on there. Really, really cool. Really, really nice. And then now let's uh, move down the printer a little bit. So first off, you can see I got absolutely amazing quality, and this was just with stock Cura settings. Uh, I did need to do some stuff when it came to the dual extruder, uh, the two-tone models. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but absolutely amazing quality. You can't even see the layer lines look so freaking good. And that was while doing two at the same time. You would think that it would introduce more vibrations and stuff, but no, nah, it uh, turned out pretty darn cool. Also, too, this build plate uh, is magnetic and very easy to get your prints off. You just give it one of those, bada bing, bada boom, they pop off. Now, when I first was doing uh, the dual extruder, I was slicing with Cura, and as you can see, I was getting a lot of color bleed, and it just wasn't the greatest. I switched to Idea Maker um, on the Facebook group. People told me to do that, and as you can see, I got much better results. This was my first print. I am still getting a little bit because I'm using black and white. These are the hardest colors to get to not bleed into each other, but I think it did a pretty damn good job. Um, I could tweak the settings a little more. I think that's just the temperature, or maybe I could slightly up the retraction. Um, but other than that, um, very, very cool, super awesome that way. So now let's get into the LCD. So the one downside about this printer is the fans are quite loud. The printer itself though is basically silent, uh, the motors and everything, but these fans are on all the time. All right, so when you, when you are printing, you can see it's standard Marlin firmware, everything you'd expect. If you wanna print the two models at once, when you slice the file, put it negative 70 millimeters over on the Z and just slice just one model on there. 
And then you just go into here to configuration. You hit IDEX mode. And you can pick if you want it to be a mirrored image or a duplicate. Just exactly the same. I was doing duplicate, but you could do mirror image if you want. And then you just print it like you would print anything else. Um, you just go down to print for media. And it will automatically print using both extruders uh, instead of just one. Everything on here is really nice. There is not... Um, no auto bed level or anything, but there is assisted bed leveling. Uh, and it came with a really, really nice plastic uh, piece that will help you. This is just the right thickness for measuring the auto home. And then along with that, they also give you spare ribbon cables in case those go out. Uh, they gave you all those nozzles that I showed. But the one cool thing, and a cord obviously, uh, but the one cool thing is they give you like actually legit tools um, that you know you're not going to strip stuff with. It was only four screws really to adjust everything. This you're going to use for the eccentric nuts in case your bed wobbles a little. Adjust the eccentric nuts on the bottom. Same thing if, if you're uh, if it wobbles here or here you're going to have to adjust the eccentric nuts there but you do that um, with this. Um, I didn't even open the Allen wrenches because I just used uh, this one but they also give you the traditional Allen wrenches as well so very very cool but uh, yeah, crazy, crazy impressed. So those are all my favorite features. So far, I am really digging it. Uh, the fans are a little loud, and these, those are the extruder fans that are always running. Um, but you could replace those with silent ones. But all the, silent, all the stepper drivers are all silent. That's all cool. So now let's get into uh, the time lapses of these prints, as well as the time lapse of me building them.
Well, thank you guys for watching. I think JG Maker knocked this out of the park. This is without a doubt my favorite 3D printer. I love the fact that it can do two objects at once. There's so many times I want to make things like yo-yos or ballast songs where I got to print either the handle separately or each half of the yo-yo separately. Now I can just do both. Super, super, super cool. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. If you want to buy this on the Amazon link, I got an Amazon affiliate, so it'll help the channel out if you buy it there. And also I'll have a 5% off coupon code down below. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button and I'll see you later.